What the? Come on. <laughs> Okay, that's pretty good. Okay. And one thing I'm doing, in case anyone doesn't know about it, um, whenever the screen fades out to black, you can press Alt F4 the moment it starts to fade. And uh, you win that training slash mission slash whatever. Which we call Fade Skip. Okay, that was pretty good. Uh, oh well. Didn't make the fling, so this is the second best way of getting through. I'm not too worried about, like, one-second time losses. <laughs> um, it's sort of a case of, like, if I get all the main... If I avoid all the main time losses... Then I really think I can get under an hour, but... Even a single, like, big time loss is, like... Reset. And by big, I mean like a 20 or 30 second one. Okay. Doing that shot again. And these guys will die every time. Okay, mission three again. <laughs> Had bad luck the first time. Okay, got the triple. Didn't waste any time aiming, so that's good. My goal is really just to be like, you know, within like 30 seconds of my PB up until like mission 31. Doesn't have to be like green all the way through. Thank you. 
Is everybody feeling uh, safer now that now that the the dreaded horror of the the balloon is gone? I don't think we did enough to the balloon, though. I think it need. I think we needed to. Uh, I think we needed to nuke it to be completely sure. Just to be on the safe side. One, two, three, four, five. See ya. Okay, so this is like the second best outcome See for library. Ya. Okay, and on cool as ice. Yes, yes. Got to get a pretty exact uh, timing on this Uzi. Yes. <laughs> okay, we got it. There's a three-frame window where we can uh, fire the Uzi, and we know the flames will kill that guy. If you don't get that timing, the flames will not quite kill him. Hmm, okay, let's try to bunge. What do we got? Mm. Huh. Okay. It's like an A minus bungee or a B. I've had better. Okay, yes. mission six. Doing some scroll lock to lock the camera in place. There's another mission where I could actually do uh um like ten second time save strat. But it's really risky. It's like there's no point in doing it, <laughs> really. Sixty four, yeah. Yeah, we can give it a sixty four. You had it coming. Okay, hope these guys are not wedged. They're wedged, that's not good. Okay. If both of them are, like, sunk in as far as they can go, then the mine will, like, not... not bounce correctly. Uh, oh, the crazy strat on this one is, um... So those two worms I just killed, I... I sort of do like a handstand with my rope, like a flagpole. I extend really high, drop a grenade, and then rope knock the other guy who's on the camel's head. I used to do that all the time, but it's like... It is not, not advised. Doctors do not recommend it. Okay, not mushroom. Yes, yes. 
Okay, that was pretty good. I can do a little faster, I guess. Oh, thanks. See ya. Yeah, it's surprising there like that there hasn't been one. Um, I do remember like Como made one. I th think I forget. I'm not sure if he narrated it though, or I seem to remember one he did like um for, like learning just like Roper and like collecting crates, which I should probably link to that if. He has that. So much more to cover with rope, though. Outlaws, kicks, pumps, dragons, mexies. In-laws, inflexes. Flings, all be backs, wizards. Pumps are like I don't think they're that hard, honestly. You just have to have a similar, like, approach every time. Also, the thing about pumps, even with the best timing, like, you can't make them perfectly consistent. Oh yeah, pinballs. Yes, sir. Get up there. Back flip, forward jump, back flip. One, two, three, four. Yes. Face left. Boom. Mini. Okay, that was a decent one. I didn't like miss any jumps. Monitor the mine. Okay. Looking good. I think my ultimate hope with roping is that even if it doesn't, like, ever become, like, as popular as it was in the heyday of Worms, maybe there will be, like, other, wor like, if not Worms games, like, Worms clones that continue the tradition. Because, like, roping, it just seems like something that, like, it's so fun and addictive, like, it has to keep continuing on. And, like, maybe those same, like, move names will apply to other games, I don't know. Gotcha. 
Like, if they don't have roping in a hundred years, I'll be surprised. That is the thing. Um, because there have been some worms clones. Clones. Uh, it's always different, and like it's never been better than it has been in Worms Armageddon. But I mean, you could. I mean, potentially, for all I know, you could make roping even better. Wait a minute. What is this? Okay. <laughs> Almost some bullshit there. See if he uh kills field soldier. I'm in big I don't know. Oh, that's too bad. There's no controlling that really. Alright. Seems like the time's pretty good. <laughs> okay. Okay, the first Holy Trinity. Okay, Worm 1 flies into Field Soldier on the left. Artillery goes to the top. Kills this Field Soldier. With grave damage. Usual stuff. And yesterday I got one outcome where this field soldier knocked himself down. I haven't been able to recreate that with, like, Manips. It's very hard for it to happen, and he actually, like, dies from it. <clears throat> okay, on to floodgates. Second spot where we gotta pray for incredible RNG. Grenade goes up there, knocks Secret Agent down, sends a mine to the left, into the other Secret Agent, piles them all. Let's see what shenanigans we get this time. really never know what you're going to get. Let's see. So Secret Agent can just walk right, do nothing. Can fire a bazooka to the left, hit the crate, not hit the crate. 
or he can teleport. Okay, we got the, the nothing outcome. <clears throat> Would like some red wind so that he opens. Okay, I think he'll open. Just gotta figure out what I want to do here. Okay, I usually do like it when he gets the crate, actually. Just seems a little safer. Usually if I hide here, Secret Agent will just, like, skip go. But... <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> that saves a little time. You just bow him in there. <clears throat> okay, that's pretty good. Not gonna get too much better than that. Whoops. Yes, sir. You can save both, but yeah, you have to use two worm selects. There's no reason to save both. It, it <laughs> they'll just slow you down. I've tried using both worms and seeing like what happens if I use the right worm, the left worm. There's a teleport manip method you can do with the right worm, but it's have not gotten it to be like a hundred percent. Okay, second Holy Trinity. Kill that lower field marshal. Send a mine to the lower right field marshal. Worm one gets blown on top, and we kill him with grave damage. Only saying this in case someone hasn't seen it before. I like how occasionally he does hit the land on the bottom, but it ne he never survives. Wait, okay. <laughs> I almost went too far right. Okay, Chateau. Got a little bad luck on Chateau yesterday. Very small chance the fire punched worm. Damn it. <laughs> Very small chance the fire punched worm um, gets hit by a flame lit and the fire punch doesn't work. What the? Come on. <laughs> okay, getting my worm in position. Yeah, I mean, yeah. 
the casual version of that mission, like if you're playing that for the first time, yeah, you're going to want to save both, I'm sure. Okay, no shenanigans, and one, two, three, oh, almost made it to the end. Not quite. That was a good try. Rescue Agent Dennis, um, we toss that grenade and we just kind of hope that Assassin hits himself down. Come on, Assassin. Walk into that zook. Ha ha. Gotcha. Okay been hesitant to use napalm lately but that was the right time to do it <laughs> okay homing gotta kill both these guys uh oh <laughs> crates are scary Got to aim on a specific spot, just like on the worm's tail, to make sure that homing hits both of the worms. Hmm. Oh, I should have hit on the right side of this dude, I think. Or maybe not. This, this is fine. <laughs> Ooh. Such speed. 410. I'm dead meat. See ya. I'm dead meat. Okay, horny nuke. Haven't hit any major time losses. Um... We are behind just due to, like, random little things, over which I have no control. I don't actually get to a precise position when I do that jump, which I probably should. I just get to any spot on the worm's back. Maybe I should uh, always get to the same position. I don't think it matters, though. Okay, it didn't destroy the crate. We're good. And we got him. The, the lay and pray moment has been done. Orange Jesus, blessed be thy name. The annoying part about that grenade is like if you're if you lay it pressed up against the worm, it won't hit. <laughs> the worm will like go over the other worm. So it has to be just 
a little bit to the right. See if this holy kills in one turn. It's been known to happen. <clears throat> oh, he got. Mm, uh, ah, he got too much airtime. It would have been good. I feel like I got gypped there. That was a little bit. Not cool. I mean, it's hardly a time loss at all, but. It's nice when you get it. Okay, farmyard. <clears throat> okay, hoping he doesn't hit me. Okay, good usually what happens. Yes, sir. Mm, come on. Yes. Yes. Come on. Okay. That's that's fine. Usually you want to be inside the one, but um, it's all good. Okay, now we do a self zook. The routine for that is get pressed up against the worm, do a forward jump into the worm, do three nudges left, forward jump again, face right, back flip, two nudges right, then aim to a specific spot. Oh, I don't like this position. Um, yeah, this is one of those really annoying positions, I have to say. Uh, so I'm going to back away. And just hope. Oh, sweet. It did exactly 100. I didn't want to get my worm in there because, like, there's a chance the 100 worm could escape and my worm doesn't even die, which would just suck. <laughs> Ambush. Sheep detonation. The sheep did walk for like a couple pixels. Typically want to detonate it right as it hits hits that wood. Okay. Let's see, come on. Don't mess up. <laughs> okay, the grenade was good. Grenade was sticky as it should be. Oh, whoops. Okay. We're in four. Yes, 
Okay, got him. All right, let's see how we do on Go Bananas. <laughs> do we have the knack today or, or not? Come on, let's see. Yeah. Ooh. Got a good healthy jump there. First try. Gonna overshoot this again, I think. <laughs> it's just fine. I'm deathly afraid of that messing up, so. <laughs> okay. Drop zone. Did do that maybe a little fast, but it's all good. First shot has to be timed. <clears throat> Basically on the whole second. So that that mine gets activated and kills the second worm. And then we shoot the third worm, then jump knock the fourth. Nay jump is quite precise, yeah. Yes, wait, yes, sir. I think it has maybe a three frame window of working. It's a little iffy. They really destroyed both of my normal um, shooting spots. Yes, on, this. Oh, no. No. on this one, we have the full background enabled so that I can time that first grenade shot once a background star passes through that den 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 worm. Makes this guy walk to the right, fire at Worm 3, and Worm 3 doesn't mess up. Major's position. Okay, we pile these guys. Sometimes they take a shot at Worm 3 that kind of messes up the land, so we'll see. That's good. We lay this mine partly to do damage to the Major, because <clears throat> we want him to die when we do the Baseball Bat. And partly to swoop all these worms together. Alright, <laughs> time to bat and hope. Hmm. Oh, whoops. I gotta retreat more right. Got a chance. Let's see. Oh, sweet, we got it. Okay, good outcome. 
can't really control that super well. <laughs> Was a little slow aiming there. The title of this mission is Mad Cows, but the cows we see here clearly normal. Never understood that. Damn it. Don't. Okay. I. So, yeah, the rope on that, I do sort of try to do the same rope every time because. Ideally, you want your worm in the exact right subpixel position, which you could get if you did the same rope routine every time. I don't know if it matters. Probably not. Should I even... I could potentially not even lay this on the worm's head. Okay, bazooka on the rocks. Dude, sweet. I think we got it first time. Oh, this is good. Got, got go bananas first try. Got this first try. Gregor, return to your slumber, but thank you. I'll take your energy and make a an enormous uh, spirit bomb. Which I will then use on mission 31. Yeah, wake wake up again in like three minutes. Hope you all know I can rope a lot faster than that. I just have to be a hundred percent sure I'm getting under there. <clears throat> cool, they didn't kill. Alright, see how these uh, French sheep do. Come on. Is the left dude not dead? He really, like, he got a bounce and he was in the air, but... Oh, dear. Okay. 
That could be a problem if he kills Worm 1, actually. Let's see. Don't stop walking. <laughs> no, enough. You can stop there. Oh, I don't like. Did you have to do it like right in there? Okay. Alright. Still in this. That one's usually a little kinder to me. Can't really do anything about those, like, can't manip it. Yeah, these French sheep, not. I think the French sheep are on strike, actually. Okay, got a good outcome here. Did the suicide jump? Okay. This is a pretty fast placement. Yes, sir. Okay. Notching it up to do that shot every time. I'm out in the club. I'm notching it up. Notching and flossing. Looks good. Do you think these robots are supposed to be like worm robots? Never occurred to me. I mean, one of them does have like an arm, I guess, but. <laughs> okay, we're doing the sheep NATO. <clears throat> Should be good. Into the water. Yeah. Okay, have to monitor the wind really closely here. Okay. They get two bar left wind, I have to reset. Because the field soldier will, like, do a shot and then walk. Come on, sheep NATO. Okay.
It wasn't great though, because I did have to do like quite a few circles, so I lost some time there. But it was first try. Come on, Toy Store. I need you to be kind to me. The first of many. I think I, I really need this one to be kind to me. Whew, that is a it's Sheep NATO world first, man. At least getting it in one try. Oh, oh, let's see. What do we got? What do we got? We got them both. Okay. See ya. Ideal outcome. See ya. Wow, Toy Story. I, I thought Toy Story was going to fuck with me. <laughs> so on my PB, I got a bad Toy Story. So that means my time should be even further ahead. Look. Come on, don't take a long turn. <laughs> we don't need that. Ah, come on. That was a mistake, actually. I shouldn't have, uh, shouldn't have done that. I should have just laid the dynamite and just walked away. Yeah. Okay, I should not have done that. All right, come on. <laughs> I'm dead meat. See ya. Yes, sir. All right, it's go time. Whoops. <sighs> yeah, Toy Story is putting me ahead. Okay. Do the grenade, do the jump knock. Alright, Captain, all you gotta do is come on down. Step by step, day by day. I 
hope other countries did not have that horrible sitcom. looking pretty good right now. I think nothing could possibly go wrong. There's a freak accident. Yes, sir. Not getting 58. That's okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I was never at any point expecting a 58. <laughs> Fifty-nine, twelve. It's uh, we did it. We freaking did it. Did it faster than I thought I would. Ah, new world record. This is gonna be. It's gonna be like one that is. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna be trying to beat it. It's pretty freaking good. GG. The French, yeah, if the French sheep worked, it would have been 58 for sure. So 58 is possible, I think. Plus the sheep NATO that I did, like, could have also been faster. Um, that was an extremely sloppy sheep NATO. I had to detonate it in the air, which I rarely, rarely do, because I couldn't get in position. It wasn't a, it wasn't a proper sheep NATO, but it worked. Um, oh my God, I'm so stoked. That's <laughs> I didn't I didn't think missions would ever get under an hour necessarily. Like when I first routed missions, it, they were like the absolute fastest I could do like 4 years ago or something was like 1 hour 15. And I was like there's can't really do much better even theoretically. But just like just all these little strats here and there. Um so many so many just like 20 second time saves and the sheep nato is just the the chef's kit the cherry on top yeah it's a it was a it's more of a slop nato on that one um i mean i guess it's maybe it's more impressive but um i've done it the normal way like so many times like, I've, I've had times where I got it, like, ten times in a row, but it's, it's really hard to do, like, under pressure and... Yeah. I mean, if you had, like, infinite time to, like, twirl your sheep around, you could get it every time. It's really just that time limit. Um. But, yeah. I, although I am glad that I resisted the urge to, like, do it a few times when I paused it. And so I was just totally not in position. Time saves other than... <clears throat> yeah, time saves. Um, there were... Let's see. Floodgates? I think floodgates went about as well as my last PB. 
roughly could it maybe it went a little bit better this time i think it was in the low three minute range which is good and then <clears throat> the only one that like really went worse was um stolen goods what else went toy store went significantly better like usually don't even get that outcome for toy store so that like more than makes up for stolen goods not being that amazing And goody two shoes. So I see it, it was a gold split on goody two shoes of 57 seconds. I'm pretty positive it could be up to like a minute 30. So yeah, no doubt 58 minutes is like possible.